A devastating fire in Kawaja Tower, a 14-story commercial building in the capital's Mohakali, has been causing disruptions in internet and telecom services across the country. Due to a fire incident at Kawaja Tower in Mohakali, all mobile operators are experiencing issues with interoperator calls, as there is a hub of interconnection exchange located in that building, the Association of Mobile Telecom Operators of Bangladesh, AMTAB, said in a statement on Thursday night. The association added, mobile operators, in collaboration with the relevant ICX operators, are actively working to relocate the connections to another location at an earliest, we hope to improve the situation soon. We would appreciate everyone to bear with this inconvenience caused due to this fire incident. Roby, the second largest telecom operator in the country, also issued a press statement in this regard, due to technical reasons caused by the fire incident at Kawaja Tower located in Mohakali, Dhaka, some of our valued customers may experience temporary difficulty in making voice calls from Roby to other operators or from other operators to Roby. Our technical department is working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. We sincerely apologize for this temporary inconvenience, Roby said. Kawaja Tower also houses mobile network towers of the other major telecom operators including Grameenphone, the largest one in the country, the business standard could not reach Grameenphone officials for a comment on the issue. Meanwhile, Internet Service Provider Association of Bangladesh, ISPAB, President M. Dadal told TBS that the building houses two separate data centers of International Internet Gateway, IEG, which provides bandwidth to some of the major ISPs of the country. The ISPs dependent on the IEG data centers provide 70% of broadband internet services across the country. As the data centers are shut down, internet services are getting disrupted, he said. MDATL said an estimated 60 to 70% internet users in Dhaka are experiencing internet glitches, the fire is also disrupting interoperator calls, as of 9.30 pm, at least one person has died in the fire incident while trying to climb down the building using a wire in a bid to escape the blaze. Rafi Al Farouk, duty officer of Fire Service and Civil Defense Headquarters told the Business Standard that the fire originated on the 13th floor of the 14-story building. The Army, Navy, and Air Force have joined forces with the Fire Service to combat the blaze, the Interservices Public Relations, ISPR, said.